it's not the ideal set of circumstances for him. You know, we were taking him in and out of the lineup to keep his minutes down and to, you know, keep his uh, stints short. He's not used to that. Um, but uh, he obviously gave us a huge lift and he changes changes the whole game uh, when he's out there. So our fans could see it, they could feel it. Um, you know, we're a different team, uh, obviously, when he when he's on the court. So great to have him back, and uh, it'll be fun you know, the next week or so to continue to build up his minutes and, and uh, you know get him get him back into the groove. Steve, a lot of your guys um, have either not played with Seth or played limited time with Seth. What do you think the biggest adjustment is for them when when he is on the floor? Well. Uh, you know, it's even an adjustment for me, you know, because uh, this year we have called a lot more plays with, without Steph, and so there's a different rhythm to the game. You know, when Steph's on the floor, we're not going to call as many plays, so guys have to get used to just running down the floor and spacing and setting screens for them, and then it's going to be, you know, drive and kick and move the ball and, and play. Um, we've had to, you know, with the injuries, we've had to, uh, call a lot more plays in the half court, and, and uh, so we've got to find the right rhythm now um, between those two things when he's on the floor and when he's off the floor. So execution uh, is the big is the big one, and uh, and we'll get there. We'll get better. I thought tonight uh, Toronto just turned up the volume in the fourth quarter defensively, and it's a great experience for for our young players, especially to feel what amounted to a playoff atmosphere um, where the, the defense um, ramps up and you got to execute and you got to stay poised and, and all that. And, uh, so it was a really, really good night for us to, to feel that and to experience it. Did it seem to you like he was really kind of testing that left hand? I mean, he threw a bunch of passes with the left hand and dribble. No. I don't, I, honestly, I don't give uh, that stuff a second. Thought um, he's, he just he looks exactly the same to me. He's always used his left hand really well as a passer and a finisher, and I didn't notice anything different about. Steve, the vibe in the building tonight seemed a bit, little bit different. Uh, how was it in the locker room pre and in, in, in huddles during the game, and how was it on the bench? Uh, there was just a different level of uh, anticipation and excitement. Um, you know, it just. To me, it feels like you know it's on again. You know we're we're now uh, through the woods, as I said before the game. Um, we can start looking ahead and using these games to uh, to prepare ourselves for uh, trying to reach a higher level of play. And uh, for the most part, we did that tonight. But we also got a great lesson against the defending champs. Um, you know what it's like to play at that level. All we talked about before the game was transition defense, but until you face that kind of speed coming downhill at you, uh, it doesn't matter what the coaches say. You know, we just show it on film and, and try to get them ready. But that's different than having you know Siakam and Lowry coming right at you. So um, we're going to have to reach a different level of uh, defensive awareness, you know, game planning, gamesmanship. I thought we fell into a lot of fouls that we could have avoided. Um, but those are all things our, our young guys are going to learn. Is that it? Yes. Oh. How do you think Wiggins looked in his first game next to that? Uh, I thought he looked great. And, you know, he hit, hit some, uh, hit a couple big threes down the stretch to keep us in the game. Um, you know, he uh, he rebounded well. He, uh, he defended, um, you know, he's he's a versatile defender for us, and in that kind of game against that kind of size and versatility, to have Andrew uh, to be able to switch him on to anybody on their, their side is a just a huge uh, dynamic that won't show up in the stat sheet. Um, so I thought Andrew looked good, and you know he's he's going to get better as he plays with Steph and, and with the rest of our guys and. I'm anxious to get Draymond back um, so that uh, uh, Andrew can feel that dynamic as well. But um, 
all in all, you know, it was a really good night for our team. I, I would have loved to have uh, come out on top, but some great stuff on the tape to learn from and uh, to take a step forward. Steve, you had uh, some, some bad turnovers late, but you had 34 assists. I just wondering what you thought of the general ball movement. It's great. Uh, these guys are all willing passers. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, talented players who, who can uh, put it on the floor and uh, find the open guy. Marquise made uh, some big passes uh, late down Andrew in the corner. Um, you know, Damian and, and Michael, and Eric were all you know, getting downhill. I think Eric had a bunch of assists. Yeah, he had eight of them. So all this stuff, you know, we've been working on all year. Our players have, have gotten better with, and now that we have Steph out there, you can see um, it's 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 going to make us better. It's going to um, it's going to pay off. Um, but we have to make sure we keep working and uh, keep using the rest of the season to to get better. Steve, it's been a lot of years now where you've been in a situation where you've basically had to tell Steph. I know you want to play, but we're going to do what's best for you. Sit down and you know not play 40 minutes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, knowing who he is and how he operates, does it ever get any easier this time? Was it different knowing he wanted to play and, and you having to say, even if it means I'm going to be the bad guy, we're going to keep your minutes down, et cetera, et cetera? There was only one time, really, and uh, I think that was early in the second quarter. He had just made a three, and we took him out, and he kind of looked at me like, you know, but we had, we had talked about it before the game. We wanted him to close the half and the game. And the only way to keep him at 28 minutes or less was to be able to uh, to get him out early enough and then bring him back. And so he understood. He fought it a little bit, but he, he understood. So the good thing is we you know we, he came out of the game feeling good, and uh, we can ramp up the minutes a little bit from here. So he still pushes back after all these years? Of course. Of course. <laughs> He's always going to do that. Thanks, everybody. Great, thank you. We're going to bring Steph up here hopefully very soon.